We've reached the end of the term and now it's time to have a bit of fun. We'll start off with watching Fantastic Mr. Fox and follow that up with a look at the stop motion animation that I've created a link for at the bottom of this. So your steps are watch the stop motion information on the YouTube clip, then watch Mr. Fox again and we'll start with your project. It might be an idea to bring an old t-shirt to cover your school uniform because we will be working with clay. Now you're going to go through the next few slides and just have a look at what it means to make a stop motion film. A bit of information. And then remember once you've created your characters you'll have to plan your set. So here's an example of how they created a set for Fantastic Mr. Fox. You might want to start thinking about things you'll need to bring from home. If you look at this slide in the film, it looks like smoke, but of course it's just cotton wool. I don't expect as much detail for your puppets, but just have a look at how much detail has gone into the making of this film. If you read that last line where the green star is, it gives you an idea of how much work goes into a stop motion animated film. So, what are you going to be doing? You are going to be creating your own stop motion short film using your iPads. There's a few steps, I'll give you a chance to read through those and make sure that you understand where you are going. Then, once you're in your group, you'll have to think about who you're writing for. Would it be children that would be watching your film? Or young teenagers and you might have a little message that you want to leave the teenagers with. In your planning it might be a, a good idea to get a storyboard going so you've got a clear understanding of beginning, middle and end of your film. Once you've got your story worked out it'll be time to start making the puppets. I will bring Things like plasticine, clay and um, a couple of crafty things. If there's anything extra that you want, you'll need to bring from home. Things you might want to bring are pipe cleaners, those little wiggly eyes that you can get at the $2 store. Even bits of material might be handy. Remember you'll have to d design your own set. And then make a trailer and the movie. Go through this presentation slowly in your own time so that you know clearly you have a clear understanding of what's expected. Those are examples of very simple claymation puppets. And now it's over to you. Enjoy.